brought to you by GTA. We start with you. The change of command ceremony was both a welcome for Rear Admiral John Minoni, but mostly a send-off and tribute to outgoing Admiral Shoshana Chatfield. The guest speaker was one of her bosses at the Pentagon, Vice Admiral Mary Jackson. She has mastered the act of keeping many plates spinning at the same time and ensuring that we are all aligned to support her and the team here in Guam. And it was absolutely amazing to think of the myriad of topics that Sho and her team have been working since being here in the job. It might have been construction, it might be hiring, it might be making sure that she's protecting cultural, cultural awareness and cultural uh, environment. This is not an easy undertaking for even the most experienced leaders. And here, unlike any other location, this job also requires a deeply rooted commitment to the people of Guam. Chatfield is headed to the Naval War College where she will become the first ever woman president. During her more than two years on Guam, Chatfield has faced growing opposition from environmental and cultural advocacy groups over military construction for the Marine Corps base and training facilities, in particular for the endangered fire tree at Northwest Field, which Mayor's Council Executive Director Angel Sablon made note of during the presentation of a special plaque by the mayors. And in the spirit of full disclosure and transparency, the gifts that we are giving to the Admiral actually come from a tree. <laughs> but we want her to know that it's not the Sriantis Nelsoni tree. Incoming JRM Commander Admiral Minoni is an Illinois native with a bachelor's degree in economics and a master's in business administration. This will actually be his third assignment on Guam. He is a helicopter pilot whose multiple operational tours also included executive officer and commanding officer of the USS San Diego. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.